Now your clothes can't actually make you go from 5'6 to 6'2, but the right clothes can actually help you look a little bit taller and leaner than you really are. On the flip side, the wrong clothes will make anybody look a little bit shorter and to be honest, a little bit heavier than they are. So in this video, I'm gonna run through 10 very easy tips that you can use to make sure your clothes are working for you and not against you. But first, I wanna remind you that there is absolutely nothing wrong with being short. No one chooses their height and no one earns their height. Much of how we look is determined by the genetic hand that we were dealt. And it's really important to try to accept yourself and to find reasons to feel confident that have nothing to do with your physical appearance. You know, in bare feet, I'm just under 5'6", and as a younger guy, this was a huge source of insecurity for me. But as I've gotten older and focused on self-improvement and acceptance, I've actually come to be pretty proud of who I am, and that includes this body that I inhabit. Also, style does not have to be about enhancing your perceived physique. You know, maybe you just wanna use fashion to express yourself or your creativity, and that's fine. If you feel great wearing oversized, slouchy fits or experimenting with drape and silhouette, I say go for it. You know, you don't have to worry about how tall or short your clothes make you look. For me, I do feel best when I'm wearing clothes that I feel enhance my physique. And to be honest, over the past few years, I've gotten pretty good at it. So with all that said, let's jump into the tips. Here are 10 ways that you can dress to look taller and leaner. Tip number one, wear fitted clothing. Clothes that are too big, which means too long or too wide, will make you look shorter and smaller than you actually are. Like if you see a little kid wearing his dad's dress shirt, it only makes him look more like a little kid. On the other hand, a large man's size will only be emphasized by smaller tight-fitting clothing. Like if you've ever seen a bodybuilder wearing skinny jeans, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They don't make them look skinny. So if you want to look taller and leaner, you need to trim the fat out of your outfits. And I'm not saying you have to wear skinny fit clothing, but you should go for slim fitted or tailored pieces. These are going to be more flattering than straight fit or relaxed cuts. And if you don't wanna buy new clothes, I highly recommend finding a local tailor that you can trust and visiting them often. The most common alterations like getting your pants hemmed and tapered or getting your shirts taken in are very affordable and in my opinion, it's money well spent. Tip number two is to wear dark solid colors. Now you've probably heard that the color black is slimming, so if you wanna look thinner, you should wear black. It's true and actually dark colors also make you look a bit taller. Here's why. Dark colors eliminate shadows. Minor imperfections like shadows and wrinkles are more noticeable on lighter color fabrics. On darker fabrics, these shadows blend in and become virtually invisible. And the net result is a clean, streamlined silhouette of your body. Also, dark colors eliminate contrast. Our eyes are really good at seeing shapes and shapes are created by contrast around the edges. You can see contrast right now of my hair against the wall. Lighter colors reflect light and they pop out from the background, but darker colors absorb light and blend into the background. Just look at this image on the screen. Which line looks thicker? They're actually the same size, but dark colors are slimming. Now, I'm not saying you have to wear all black. I really like other dark colors like navy and dark gray and burgundy and dark brown. I actually think these colors are more versatile than black, but if you wanna wear black, that's fine too. Tip number three, wear low contrast outfits. So whether you wanna wear dark colors or light colors, I recommend wearing all dark colors or all light colors at the same time. Reason being, you wanna avoid the kind of contrast that cuts you in half visually. So I'm talking about when you wear like a very light shirt and very dark pants, that creates this stark contrast between your upper and lower halves. Not only does this cut you in half visually, but it also accentuates any problems with fit or proportion. So instead, you can try to minimize this contrast by wearing colors that are sort of closely related. Combos like navy and charcoal, or burgundy and black, or white and tan, these are all great options. Celebrities use this trick all the time on the red carpet. I mean, there's a reason that black tie is black tie. And assuming your clothes fit properly, this is probably the easiest way to maximize your perceived height, or at least avoid looking shorter. Tip number four is to wear small scale patterns. You've probably heard that old advice that shorter people should avoid wearing horizontal stripes, right? The truth is you can wear whatever kind of pattern you like. It's not really about the direction of the stripes or the type of pattern, it's about the scale. Simply put, shorter guys and gals should wear small scale patterns. So if you wear gingham, go with micro gingham or mini gingham. If you wear 
polka dots go with small polka dots, not big polka dots. Certain patterns like plaid tend to be larger while other ones like gingham or checks tend to be smaller. And if you do want to wear horizontal stripes, just make sure they're thin stripes that are close together versus thick stripes that are far apart. Tip number five is to avoid low rise pants. Now pants rise is one of those things that varies widely depending on what's in fashion, but I think that shorter people should for the most part avoid low rise pants that sit down on your hips because they tend to make your legs look shorter. Now here's the thing, everybody has a different leg to torso ratio. So some people have very long legs and a higher waistline. Some people have a long torso and very short legs. But regardless of where your actual waistline is, your perceived waistline is determined by your clothing. So if your pants sit down on your hips, it makes your waistline look lower, even if you have really long legs. Now in most Western societies, long legs are attractive. They're a sign of fitness and and athleticism and they tend to be desirable and that's why so many women like wearing high-rise jeans and shorts. It makes your waist look smaller and your legs look longer, so it's a win-win. So unless you have very long legs and a very short torso for your height, I recommend going with mid or even high-rise pants because that's gonna lengthen your legs, it's gonna raise your perceived waistline, and it's gonna help you avoid looking shorter. Tip number six is to tuck your shirt in. Now this is especially powerful when it's combined with the last tip about wearing higher rise pants. I really think that medium or even higher rise pants with a tucked in shirt is one of the best looks for really anybody, but especially shorter people. It's flattering and it's super comfortable. Plus tucking in your shirt solves the problem of so many shirts being too long to wear untucked. Yes, you can go have your shirt shortened at the tailor, but if you need a quick fix, just tuck it in. Make sure to get a nice clean tuck by pinching that excess fabric at the sides. And if you're wearing a dress shirt, you can always wear shirt stays or shirt tail garters to keep your shirt tucked in all day. Tip number seven is to wear no break pants. When it comes to pants length, you have a lot of options from full break or stacking to the cropped look. I think that shorter people look best wearing pants that have a slight break or even no break. If your pants are too long, they're gonna stack up on top of your shoes and this makes you look shorter as if you're wearing hand-me-downs or as if you couldn't find a pair of pants that were short enough. But when your pants sit right on top of your shoes or even a little above your shoes and they just hover there, it actually has the exact opposite effect. It's as if your legs are just so long that your pants are almost too short. Keep in mind this doesn't work as well with pants that have wider leg openings, so if you do go with the no break or the cropped look, you can always cuff your pants to shorten and taper them at the same time. Tip number eight is to wear proportionate accessories. I see men making mistakes with accessories all the time. Watches that are too big, sunglasses that are too wide, ties that are too long. And it kills me because this mistake is so easy to avoid. Now this tip really has more to do with your overall build than just your height because obviously some shorter guys are bigger, they have thick wrists and thick necks, big chest, and some guys like me are more slender. So if you're a shorter guy but you have a big wrist, you can definitely wear a big watch. The key is to prioritize proportion when you're choosing accessories. So if you're a shorter man, for example, most ties are going to be a little bit too long and they're going to go past your belt line. And this looks really bad. It looks like a kid playing dress up. Like it just ruins your whole look, even if your suit fits everywhere else. So you wanna make sure that your tie is the right length and it just hits your waistline exactly and doesn't go past your belt. Similarly, if you have a smaller wrist, you shouldn't wear like a 44 millimeter watch because it's gonna make your wrist look really tiny. And that's something that most guys don't really want. For example, my wrist is about six and a third inches around and I like to wear 36 and 34 millimeter watches because they just feel and look right on my wrist. If you have a narrow face, many one size fits all sunglasses are gonna be too wide. And when your glasses are too wide, it makes your face look even narrower. You know, stocky guys shouldn't wear skinny ties, but skinny guys look great in skinny ties. Petite women are gonna look better in smaller, daintier jewelry, while bigger women can pull off bulkier jewelry. I think you get the point. When it comes to accessories, it's all about proportions. Tip number nine is to avoid bulky outerwear. Now, when it comes to freezing cold weather, you do have to 
prioritize function over form. You know, sometimes an oversized bulky parka is the only thing that's going to keep you warm and that's totally fine. But in general, bulky outerwear will make you look a little shorter and potentially smaller than you are. That's why I prefer layering up and wearing warm base layers like long underwear and thick wool socks. That way I don't always need a huge coat on top of everything else. I also like thin down jackets as opposed to the really bulky puffer coats that make you look like the Michelin man. And I like wool top coats. You know, they're thin, they're a little more formal, but they keep you really warm. And of course, if you just add a scarf and a hat or ear warmers and some gloves, you know, these accessories go a long way. Now, when I do wear a parka, I always try to go for a slim fit parka versus a traditional fit just because it's a little more flattering on my build. And speaking of winter style, tip number 10, well, you can use this all year round, is to wear boots. Now, I don't ever recommend wearing like height increasing inserts or elevator shoes because frankly, these are uncomfortable, they're bad for your posture, potentially bad for your back. But many boots come with a one to one and a half inch heel built right in. And of all the tips on this list, this is the only one that's actually gonna make you stand a little bit taller. You know, compared to a flat sneaker with minimal heel to toe drop, a work boot or even a Chelsea boot is gonna give you a little bit of a boost. And it's not gonna sacrifice comfort like an insert or an elevator shoe will. Now, obviously women have way more choices here because their shoes are available with all different types of heels from you know one or two inch heels to platform shoes. Men don't really have those options, but we can still wear boots pretty much all year round, especially in the winter time. So when in doubt, go with your boots instead of your sneakers. In conclusion, when you start to combine two or three or four of these tips, you realize that it's actually very easy to put together an outfit that makes you look as tall and as lean as possible, and at the very least, avoids making you look shorter or heavier than you really are. Even if you just pick one or two tips from this list and start experimenting with it, I think you're gonna see a difference very quickly. But I want to remind you again that there is absolutely nothing wrong with being a shorter man or woman. Anybody who says that there is or anybody who gives you grief uh, about your height, you have to realize that that's coming from a place of deep insecurity. No one does anything to deserve or earn their height. It's just random. And if you're a younger guy watching this and you're concerned about your height, maybe you're wondering how tall you're gonna be compared to your brothers or your dad or the other kids in school, just know that it gets better as you get older. You know, I was not cool in high school, I wasn't confident, but the older I get, the better I feel about myself. It can take a little bit of time to become comfortable in your own body, and you know, if you are a younger guy, I don't want you to waste too much time and energy worrying about it because you can't control it, you know, and it really makes sense to focus all that time and energy on things that you can control, things that will give you a reason to feel confident. You know, focus on how you dress and how you spend your time and how you treat people. And I promise it does get better. So if you have any questions or comments for me, leave them down in the comment section below. Thank you as always for watching and until next time, stay stylish.